We're here at Morristown Barrett School. It's a co-ed day school. What I like to think that makes a school unique is we're really sort of focused on student empowerment here. It's not a school that's looking to just grind out kids and work on their transcripts. We really want them to try to find their own path and try to pursue their own interests. Last year, um, Mr. Yehoss brought up the Weather Services Club to me and then I looked into it and decided that weather was something that I would like to do. The Weather Services Club is a group of students from like all different aspects of our school. We find our data using Earth Networks. The tools we have from Earth Networks allow us to be in a position to really respond to things that are happening every day, respond to a cold front coming through, anticipate a snow day for the students. We have most of the products here, I think. We have the weather station on the roof of Barrett Hall, which allows the students to see the real-time local data. We have the lightning detection system, which our athletics program loves having. We have the camera. We see the campus and the different conditions through that. Earth Networks was amazing. We used their weather gathering stations and we compared it to the one that we made. I mean, you can read a graph and then you can also sometimes feel things outside, especially it gets dark and cool all of a sudden. Working with Earth Networks has been wonderful. It has been a great opportunity for our school to move forward with technology and really help us um, guide our decision making as far as our athletic events and practices. It's really great the way we have the OAS, the automatic system, so that we no longer have to wait for somebody to receive an email or receive a text and go out and convince the coaches to come in. We have the horn that goes off and immediately everybody gets the message that you gotta go for cover. It's very important to keep our athletes and our spectators and fans safe. That is our primary focus each day. What's neat about the Spheric API is that we've created our own website that we're starting to still work on and allows the students the creative way of deciding how they want to present the data. We started an Instagram last year and now we're getting together a more consistent schedule for posting, developing our graphics further, and soon we're going to really present that to the school so that people can actually follow us. I started creating off of an old template that we had, like weekly weather graphics to show up at our morning meetings. During the hurricane season, we saw all the hurricanes go through and see it go from place to place and it's actually really cool. We brought our weather station that two of our other members of the club created and we were teaching basically STEM to all these children. Last year, um, Taylor and Harrison were showing me the weather station before the conference and it was really cool. There was a lot of data that it took. There was temperature, there was like air pressure, things like that. And it was just really incredible for me to see that two students in high school built this piece of technology and could put it together to work like that. The skills they are developing to be able to access, analyze, and present data in lots of different ways is something that will help them in almost any field they pursue after high school. I've been able to pair my students with different experts at Earth Networks, and it's been wonderful. I think even more so than the hardware that the students are able to play with, for them to be able to reach out to a professional who is so receptive to them and then willing to work with them, I think that's the biggest experience for the kids. Over the years, Earth Networks is the only company that we've sort of made that personal relationship with that it's become more than just a product. I'm only one person. I have a very small staff in my athletic department, so having that technology really enables all of our coaches to be on the same page and all of the student athletes as well. Ms. Juhas really, he has helped me a lot to understand how important weather is and like the amount of capabilities the school has for us to carry our dreams to through things that maybe other schools couldn't, so I'm excited about that. If I had looked at myself when I was in sixth grade and said, what do you think you're going to be most involved in in high school, I never would have thought weather services. 